Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show Tandem Carry with Two Kids. I'm going to um, put my daughter Anna, who's four, on my back in a reinforced ruck, and our baby Matthew, who's one, on the front in the crosses of a Tibetan tie. This is a size 8 BB Slim papaya. It's a really nice wide wrap. This was donated to our baby wearing group by Nova Naturals. Um, this carry can be done in a six or seven, just if you have a little bit smaller children. Um, I could probably do this in a seven with them. Okay, I'm going to start with the wrap center in the center of my daughter's back. The reason I'm going to do a reinforced ruck with her rather than a regular ruck is just because she prefers it. But you could do a regular ruck as well. And this is a great way to carry twins. At the same time, even younger babies, because a ruck is a nice high carry, they'll be able to see over your shoulder, you'll be able to feel them breathing in the back of your neck. So I'm going to do just like a regular ruck. Pin the top rail, reach back, take as much width as I can up and in between us, all the way up to our belly button, and then I'm going to take each side and sort of strand by strand, take out the slack, and that's really important, especially if you're wrapping a heavy kid. Any, if you have a saggy carry, this is going to be miserable for you. So I'm going to do the same on both sides. I'm going to take out the slack all the way through the middle to the bottom of the wrap. Some people here like to sandwich the, the, the tails, that doesn't bother me so much, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take one side back, Anna, you got to stay still. The nice thing about wrapping a four-year-old is they will listen when you ask them to stay still. So I'm going to pass this orange rail, which is the rail closer to the back, over, take it up as high as I can, and I got a lot of left slack, so I'm going to straighten my slant, just work some slack out here. And I'm going to straighten out my shoulder and then pass a little bit more slack back as much as I can. Okay, so now I'm just going to check one more time for any slack here and I'm going to tuck it right under her leg. Then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just double checking for any slack there. Reach back and I'm going to pass that that same orange rail, which was the one furthest to the edge of my shoulder, over to my other hand, bring it up. If you're trying to do this with a young baby and you're trying to do a reinforced rock and it's really hard, it's just because they're small. It gets a lot easier when they're bigger because they're higher on your back. The reinforced cross passes can only go as high as your armpit, so if your baby's really small and their butt's up here, it's really hard to reinforce a pass. And you can just do a regular rock instead. So, like I've got most of the slack out of that, I'm going to go ahead and tuck that under her leg. Now here, if I was just doing a regular reinforced rock, I could tie off right here. But instead, I'm going to do Tibetan tie, and I'm going to put the baby in the crosses of the tie. So I'm going to take this, straighten it out a little bit, and I'm going to put it, put one tail through the opposite ruck strap. And then I'm going to put the other tail through this ruck strap. And then I'm going to get a little bit of slack here for my baby, who's one. He needs a good amount of slack. I'm going to put him in these crosses. Okay, come here, buddy. Come here. All right. So now I'm going to put one leg in each side of the cross, just like front cross carry. And there, and I'm going to spread this from knee to knee on him, and up his back, spread this one too, and up his back, and then I'm going to take these, give him a good yank to tighten up, this one a good yank to tighten up, it's kind of nice if you tighten it a lot, you can even spread your shoulder a little bit to cup it, so it's more comfortable, and then I tie right in the middle of my baby's back. Then I'm just going to do a quick check and make sure both of these are going knee to knee on him. Which this one's not. I can fix it real quick. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm going to make sure she's got knee to knee coverage in the back too. Both of those cross passes are going to knee to knee. There we have it. Two kids and a reinforced rock and kind of like front cross carrying a Tibetan tie.